it's Diabetic Danica and today I'm gonna do a day in the life video. If you don't know, those videos are just where I take you around with me throughout my day and show you anything I do that's diabetes related and other stuff too. But this video is actually a collab with Amy from Dream Flight 6000, so she will have a day in the life on her channel today, this very same day, and I'll leave the link to that down below so you can check it out. She makes videos on organization, on type one diabetes. So one of her sons, she has three boys, has diabetes, and one of her sons also has a heart condition where he had to have surgery. Um, and so she's just really real on her channel and talks about ways she stays organized and ways that she takes care of her boys. So if you want to check that out, I will leave the link below. But let's rewind to this morning when I first woke up. Good morning. So last night was kind of weird. Um, my set got ripped out in the middle of the night. It was in my leg and I moved my leg against my mattress and it just rolled right off. But to be fair, it was like on the older side and the tape was already coming up and I was already kind of worried about that but it happened um so I put a new set in the other leg in the middle of the night and then I couldn't fall back asleep because I had a headache so I went and took some ibuprofen and I had to eat something to take ibuprofen so I didn't get a belly ache and so I had a bowl of cereal because I was actually kind of hungry and I bolused and everything but I ended up spiking and then my high alarm went off later like when I didn't have that much more insulin working so I gave more insulin so that's what happened before you got here I didn't film all that because I wanted to start like today today because it's a day in the life and middle of the night seemed weird but yeah it's about 9 40 in the morning now I just got up like a few minutes ago and was just chilling on my phone um my Dexcom says 119 and going straight down so clearly all that insulin worked. Um, when I bolused again for the high, I subtracted for insulin on board and everything. So yeah, and here is my puppy. Can you see her? Just chilling beside me, she's so cute. Oh, yeah, boys. Anyway, let's check my blood sugar. I am 116, so I'll just calibrate my Dexcom. So I do have a little bit of insulin on board. That equals only about seven grams of carb for me. But the thing is, so first on my to-do list today is to go for a run because it's one of my days off and I try to do that on my days off. Um, and I've been bad about it, so I'm trying to get back into it. So I don't want to eat a huge breakfast, so I'll probably just grab a banana. And this is about 15 grams. Um, but I'm also dropping straight down, so I might also just grab some orange juice just to kind of curb that deep descent down into the dark abyss so that's my plan so 27 plus 17 is 44 i'm gonna subtract 7 for the iob and that's 37 i also want to subtract a little bit just because i am dropping so quickly so probably like 15 or even 20 actually so i'm only gonna bolus for 17 grams And then um, to cover my run later, I'll do less basal insulin. If I wasn't for some reason gonna do less basal insulin, then I probably wouldn't bolus for anything. But since that's how I um, kind of correct for my runs, that is how I will manage it. Ampers is just looking at me from the stairs and it's like the cutest thing. That's her little head. Hi, honey. All right, so we are at our running location, me and the Ampers. And I just checked my blood sugar. I am 155 and Dex says 127. I'm just gonna calibrate again, 141. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my temp basal now, just before I start stretching and everything so that it has a time and a chance to start kind of working. Um, I usually do, well, it kind of depends, but today I'm gonna do negative 80% for an hour. I'm not going to run for an hour, but that's the way it just kind of covers me after my run too because my blood sugar is still kind of coming down after I run. So I'm going to do that. And then I should probably talk about what I'm packing. So I have my Anna PS sports bra on, which has three pockets. I'm having my pepper spray in the front for safety, um, two fruit snacks, and then I also have a pump pouch on where I'm carrying this camera for today. And I have my pump just clipped to my shorts. I'll also be putting my car key um, somewhere in one of these pockets 
and a doggy bag in case Ambers has to poop. So I ran 2.77 miles, it took me 30 minutes, and my blood sugar is 97 with a straight arrow. Ambers, good girl. Did you do good? Yeah. So I'm not sure what's going on out there, if you can hear that noise, but I have showered and gotten ready, and I'm getting a low alarm saying I am 62, so I am gonna check my blood sugars. It's a lie, I'm 125. I was gonna say, I don't feel low at all. Huh, peanut. So when I was driving home from my run, my tire felt really weird and my indicator light was on and my tire is flat. And it's like really flat. I went out and I looked at it and it's pretty bad. So I have some plans. I have lunch plans with my sister-in-law's sister. I'll just call her Carly because that is her name and it's easier. Um, and then I am going to accompany her to sign her lease for her brand new apartment that she's getting. Um, but after that, I have to go get my tire fixed and also my headlights out. So like two birds, one stone. Um, but speaking of new apartments, if you didn't notice, this is a different apartment. Um, yeah, I moved. So same town. I just moved a couple blocks away. I was having some like neighbor issues but they're all resolved now obviously and my neighbors here have all been super nice so Ampers and I have a new place. Carly's here and look how comfy Ampers is. We just finished lunch and she's just snuggling like a person. So cute. Just sitting like a person. Oh my goodness. Ampers, you're adorable. She's like a little kid. <laughs> Literally, yeah. She's my baby. Carly signed her first lease. <laughs> and then we just dropped off my car and we're at Starbucks. So she got yummy goodies, but as you saw, my blood sugar is a little high. So water it is. Tivana. She doesn't have diabetes, so. <laughs> Alright, so car is all fixed. Tires were free. I just had to pay for the light. And I already forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, I guess that's it, really. So I am headed over to my sister-in-law's house to let uh, Ampers and her best friend Coda play for a little bit. And then we have our young adults group through church tonight, so we're gonna head there after. And I probably won't film at the young adults group. I might just go ahead and end my video there before it starts, because I don't really wanna like ask everybody's permission there if I can use them in the video. So I'll probably just film a little bit at my sister-in-law's and then That'll be the video. I'm sure it's plenty long by now. Ampers, you want to go see Koda? You want to go see Koda? She gets so excited. You looking for Koda? Where is he? I mean, he, she. You want to go see Koda? Koda is her best friend. This is my sister-in-law. I don't think you've ever been on a video. Oh, are you good with it? 
Are you good with being in one? Yeah. That's <laughs> you. Best friend. This is really serious. <laughs> Where are we going now? Jimmy Dodge! Jimmy Dodge! He said to crash the car! Not too bad! Okay, it's getting really personal, right? Can you believe I'm showing my actual sandwich? My oh gosh, it's too much. Like, you know so much about me now. You didn't use your favorite song. <laughs> Money shot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Money shot. <laughs> Here, <laughs> action! <laughs> <laughs> birthday cake pop from Starbucks. Um, it's a birthday cake cake pop. Come birthday on, cake cake Not pop. Not a birthday cake pop. <gasps> Come on, Haley. Honestly, <laughs> you can't even, you can't even see it. Right. It's no, it's just little. Bad. But here you go. So what I was hoping she would talk about was that her and her sister had these when they were like in high school and stuff, and it was a really big deal. And I've never had one. You better eat it. So, here we go. What if it falls? It's gonna be really quiet in here when you eat it. Why don't you say something? Wait, how are you supposed to eat it? Just take a bite. Just take a bite. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Commit. <laughs> the quiet. <laughs> I know. I'm like, is it so moist? It's really good. Isn't it oh so gosh. good? Mm hmm. It's way better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It's so delicious. Woo! And then we're gonna end the video here. So we're about to go into our young adults group, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Do you have any closing Bye. words? <laughs> Obviously, no. Obviously, <laughs> bye. What about you? Bye! Bye! <laughs> bye! All right, guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you very soon in an all-new video. Bye! Bye-bye.